Hi, my name is Jim Ave, and I'm the teacher for taping in sports. And the purpose of this video is to show you the different types of tapes and other products that are used in athletics and sport. Our most common type of tape is what's called athletic tape. Um, this tape is cotton-based, is easily applied to the body part, and can be easily cut with the fingers, as you can see with that. This tape comes in uh, one and a half inch, like I have here, or two inch uh, width. We typically use this one and a half inch tape for most uh, taping procedures that we use in athletics. It's my goal in class to show you how to do every single tape job with just using this tape. Uh, that, so that's the goal you'll see in the different tape videos that I have that I use this tape for every, almost every tape job. Another tape that looks similar to athletic tape, it, because it looks white, is called Zonus tape. As you can see here, um, it comes in either an eighth of an inch like this one or a quarter of an inch like this one. And we use this tape for smaller body parts like fingers and toes. Uh, it works really well. It's easy to cut, just like with the athletic tape. And in the videos, you'll see that I use the, this white tape and teach you how to cut it so it can be used in a similar fashion as the smaller Zonus tape. Pre-wrap is our next product. It is used to prevent tape cuts and blisters. We apply this product to the skin before we tape. Uh, some athletic trainers don't use pre-wrap as they tape directly to the skin. In the videos, I show you how to actually use pre-wrap in a proper way to apply pre-wrap when we tape. Our next taping product is called Elasticon. It's an elastic tape that is used to provide extra support. It stretches a lot more than regular athletic tape, uh, but it's almost impossible to cut with your fingers. You have to be pretty strong to cut it. And typically we use scissors to cut this tape. Uh, I don't use this tape in my taping videos because most non-athletic trainers uh, don't have access to this tape. You'll see in my taping videos that I show you how to make a fan for extra support or for support, uh, but athletic trainers typically use, will use Elasticon for, instead of the fan. This tape comes in various sizes. It comes in four inch, three inch, two inch, and one inch. This is a, a two inch and this is a one inch uh, size. So that's what we use, again, for extra support. Stretchy tape is Another product that we use quite a bit, and you can see it comes in different colors. Uh, this is our school colors, so that's why we have the blue and uh, orange. It comes in various sizes like the other tapes. This tape, since it's called stretchy, is very stretchy. It has self-adhesive. You, you probably have seen this if you've ever given blood or gone to a doctor uh, and put a band-aid on you and they usually we use this type of tape. We use this in athletics to secure padding or ace wraps to the body allows the muscle to expand uh, with exercise. Luco tape is used for joint repositioning. For example, it is used to help the patella or kneecap tract correctly. Kinesio tape is user friendly on patient skin. It is more flexible and it's supposed to provide support while increasing range of motion and decreasing pain and inflammation. I do not have any videos uh, demonstrating how to use uh, these taping products, but there are several videos in a sports taping basics DVD that demonstrate how to use Kinesio tape. Padding is also used in athletics to protect body parts. It comes in different sizes, uh, thicknesses, and shapes. Here are two examples of padding. This one is an eighth of an inch thick, and this one is a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, this one has an adhesive, or both of them have an adhesive padding on the back, so it makes it easier to stick to the body, and they're easy to cut with scissors and then apply it to the body. We have a video in the class on how to pad for blisters, and so I use this type of padding in the blister padding video. Athletic trainers also use cloth wraps to provide support for various body parts, such as the thigh. These wraps come in either a four or six inch width. And there are two lengths, a regular size, which is this smaller, smaller size here. And then the, we call it a double length or extra long, which is the longer wraps that I have in my hands. 
Um, I have several videos that teach you how to use these wraps uh, for the hamstring, quads, and uh, groin muscles. Other tools used by athletic trainers are the scissors and tape cutters. We call tape cutters sharks because they kind of look like a shark. Um, and we use both the tape cutters and the scissors to remove um, tape from the body. And we also use the scissors to cut padding and other equipment so it fits correctly. Heel and lace pads are used to provide protection at the heel and the lace for the ankle tape job. Within the heel and lace pad, we have a lube, to, again, that provides protection where the shoe fits at the heel and the lace pad. You uh, don't have to use these when you're taping the ankle for this class, but I wanted to make sure I showed you these and I also show you these in the ankle taping video. Um, these are very common in athletics. They're pretty much everybody who's had their ankle taped has had heel and lace pads placed on them. The last thing I'm going to show you is the product we use to secure ice bags on the patient. It's basically a plastic wrap like saran wrap, uh, the stuff that you wrap your food with, and we wrap the ice bag on a person's body. It works really well, uh, secures it to the body nice and tight. I hope you have a better understanding of the materials that are used in taping.